So I want to tell you a quick little story that happened today. So um, Beth was sitting down at the bottom of the driveway waiting for the kids to get off the bus. And we have some people, they just built a house down there. And the guy came running out and yelled at, yelled at her for something, was saying something about the fire department, this, that, and everything else. And she didn't hear him at first, and he kind of she turned around, and he was gone. And he came back out, and he's like, hey, are you guys burning anything? And she's like, yeah, I got, we got a little stuff out there. We're burning some sticks and leaves and stuff. He's like, all right. Went back in the house. Came running back out and said, hey, can you call the fire department? I think the house is on fire. And look, and there's actually smoke coming from you know, where the roof is. So she calls the fire department and, you know, is talking to him. And they said, what's the address? It's like, I don't know what his address is, but it's at the bottom of my driveway. So what's your address? So she gave him our address. And, well, let's say I got a nephew that works for 911 dispatch. I got family members on the fire department. I got family members for the EMT and volunteer. Well, they hear my address come across the scanner. Okay. Next thing we know, we got like seven or eight volunteer people coming up my driveway. We got a fire truck coming up my driveway. I got people calling me left and right asking me if I'm okay. And Adam, he's been to my house. This ain't no place to have a damn fire truck up in here. Oh, I mean, hell no, no, no hell no. Morning. So as they're pulling up the road, I'm like, Trying to go down and meet him down. I'm like, no, it's not my house. It's the house down. You don't pass the house. Did they drive you past the house on fire to go to your yes. house? Yeah, drive, which I guess it didn't. I mean, they were in and out of there. So it must not have been too big of a deal. But, and she even told him this. She's like, I don't know what's going on. He came out and said, Hey, can you call to the fire department? It seems like a little bit of smoke coming out. And next thing, like I said, next thing I know, I got half the town that works for the fire department coming up towards my house and everything else thinking my house is on fire. My phone's blown up left and right. You guys okay? You guys okay? I'm like, yeah. I just like the fact that they're like, well, that's not the address they gave us. <laughs> I know that house on fire, but that's not the address they gave us. We're just going <laughs> to drive on past it. <laughs> well, she even told me, she's like, I don't know their address. And like, what's your address? And so she gave it to her. She's like, it's before you get there. Sure enough, everybody come flying up our our driveway. And, <laughs> they put them in the queuing line, like, all right, well, we'll put you out next. We got to go to this house first. <laughs> they got dibs. I'm like, yeah. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> that is a that was fucking girls, like Larry said, David kids, write this? <laughs> yeah. Kids just getting home from school and everything else. Girls are excited about seeing a fire truck. I mean, that is exciting. excited about all that stuff. Like, yeah, let's, let's wait on that excitement and see if their house burns down first. <laughs> But luckily, it was nothing. They were in and out. I think it was just a little thing happened. But is it fall off the bed exciting? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You're a big dope. 